um, uh, best of luck and I signed your name. Thanks. Lisa's going to give it to Debbie's lawyer before the sentencing. I made it into a sort of get out jail free card. Don't think she'll think it's some sort of sick joke, will she? Well, not if you're sure they're releasing her. Mm. Right, come and have a look at this and tell me what you think. Beautiful three bed corner semi. Our, 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 you're selling our house. Well, I thought you'd be pleased. No way. That's my home where I grew up. My bedroom with the cheeky monkey wallpaper. Yeah, but I'm thinking about our future here in Emmerdale. We can use the money and put it into Bob's business. What? Well, the shop and the cafe. Bob. This is all for Bob. No. Come on. <laughs> this is a wind-up, isn't it? Come on, Mum. Tell me a joke in. I like your hand. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're not out on patrol yet? No, the boss has told me to wait here. This got something to do with the disappearing pheasants? Yep. Birds oh. fly free, so I get roasted. Look, don't take it to heart, OK? Natasha likes everything under control. You should have realised that by now. Yeah. So, there you are. Oh, I was just helping Katie. You know, thanks for your help, Lee. I'll see you later. Uh, you know, Sam. Sam's had a lot of experience with game birds. He's familiar with the local setup, and he might have a clue where they wandered off to. So I'd like him to work alongside you. Well, it's just that I don't think I, uh, I need it. Teamwork. Two pairs of eyes are better than one, especially when there are predators about. Hmm? She's right, you know. Yeah. So, um, when do we get started? What are you doing up there? I'm trying to make myself look smart like you told me to. Right, we all set. Oh, now what? Oh, we thought you'd be gone. Well, we should be. We thought we'd come with you. I've just got one more appointment to shift. Oh, hold on. Debbie hasn't been in touch with us. Maybe she doesn't want the whole gang there. Let's give her some space, eh? Well, yeah, there's enough drama down there. What with the press and everything. We're calling you as soon as we hear out. Hold me out to settle and I want. Well, I'll be here with you. Hmm. Yeah, you can practice your arm wrestling. Shut yeah. up, Dad. It's all right, Chas. You give Debbie a love if you get a chance. And text me as soon as you know anything. We will. Oh, I just wanted to open love. Mm. Oh, right. Go on. Go Bye on. now. See ya. Come on, the Are you like, right. hurry up? All right, I can't be. Kekel! Oh, thank you so much, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. So tell me, what's your prediction for Team Sam and Lee? Well, in the short run, it'll keep Lee on his toes. And in the long run? We need a gamekeeper we can trust, so let's just see which one works out. Right. I'll leave it with you. No, hang Let on. Me I... Just for this afternoon, there's something I have to do. But seriously, I'd love it if you could help manage the estate. Ah, Nicola. Are you feeling better? Yeah, um, look, sorry about... <laughs> look, let's forget about the other night, yeah? I've got a very special job for you. Promotion for home farm. Conferencing, shoots, everything. Oh, where? Bring and buy a sale at the village hall next week. Well, we've got to keep our profile up. Come on then, Nathan. Let's give her some space to plan her strategy. <laughs> you look pleased for yourself. I am a sex object. What? Rough charm, rugged good looks. She's got you on a string. She is chasing me. <laughs> but what for? I've told you. Charming good looks? No way. All Nicola's ever bothered about is a pocket full of reddies. <sighs> of which I have not a nickel or a dime. So it must be something else. <sighs> Don't fool yourself, you ugly brute. It's never anything else. The whole village knows I've gotten out. But how certain is Nicola of that? I wouldn't trust her, Jim. Not one inch. How exciting. You sound like my mum. Won't be easy selling that house, you know. Oh, it'll be worth it to be her own boss. Oh, just imagine what it'd be like not having someone breathing down your neck all day. Yes, well, I don't want to rain on your mother's parade, but she should think twice before getting into bed with Bob. What's Viv going to say when she gets let out, eh? Oh, uh, deal with it when it happens, my mum says. She might be pleased. Oh, I'll try and imagine it. No, Doug, are you trying to turn this place into kids' club as well? Well, I was just going to ask... Take the day off. We all wish your jazz well, yeah? Thank you. And you too. Less hot air, more hem stitching.
I was sure there'd be some here. It's one of their favourite hideaways. What are you up to? Well, they're easy prey, our well fed birds. Let's set a few snares, eh? Yeah. Oh, look. Someone's had one of these already. Stort, I reckon. They like to lick the blood and then come back for the rest later. What are you doing? Look, well, there's snares. Have to be free running. This one's self locking. The dual purpose, Sam. It'll hold the creature fast until we can deal with it. Not if the wire's through the wrong hole, it won't. The strangle poor thing to death. And it's illegal. Oh, I don't believe this. I am a qualified gamekeeper. But well, it don't make you right. Yeah, maybe not. But it makes it very annoying to have someone like you telling me how to do my job. Mrs. Wilds asked me to help out. Yeah, and the best way you can do that is by keeping out the way. Look, why don't you go look for the lost birds and leave me to set the snares? Suit yourself. A couple of years ago, they were forcing money into my fist. Now they're threatening bailiffs. Yeah, but that'll all be different once we're partners. I've got so many ideas. Yeah? What about the here and now? We need more promotions. Listen, I'm doing a guess how many sweeties jar for the bring and buy on Sunday. We provide the sweets. Free advertising. Fine, yeah. I don't mind supporting the explorers. And more cafe specials to pull in the passing trade. Mammoth Yorkshire puddings with gravy. Hey, we could do evenings. Overspill from the wool pack. Look, Brenda, I know I said yes to this side. Don't look a gift, or That's what I say. This is a private conversation. Then don't have it in public. Bacon sarny, crispy. Oh. Our Debbie will be up before the beak in a couple of minutes. Sorry. I know how that feels. We're uh, keeping our fingers crossed. Yeah, for the both of them. Thanks. I don't suppose I can have a cup of tea in the house just to wash it down, will you? Uh, no. You, Jasmine Thomas, are charged with manslaughter. How do you plead? Guilty. And you, Deborah Dingle, are charged with perverting the course of justice. How do you plead? Guilty. Be seated. I heard it crying, so I put it out of its misery. What? I'm sorry. No, it's not for the stork. I've just got a bad feeling about everything. What? Sam? So, no. I, you don't need me. I've got more important things to worry about. The trial, you mean? I'm going home. There are, as I have explained, various extenuating circumstances behind the act of violence. Nevertheless, it was an unlawful act of violence which caused the death of PC Shane Doyle. I therefore sentence you, Jasmine Thomas, for the manslaughter of PC Shane Doyle to four years imprisonment, and you, Deborah Dingle, for seeking to pervert the course of justice to six months imprisonment. In each case, you will be eligible for parole after half of that term. Time served on remand counts towards your sentence. Take them down. <laughs> no, it's not right. No, it's not right. I love you. I love you. I love you too much. I love you too much. It's going to be all right. Okay. I'll be fine. Don't cry. I'll be fine. Okay. I'll be fine. I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be all right. 
Yeah, Brenda Walker. I left a message earlier. Yeah, well, we're short-staffed here, too. Do you want houses to sell or not? I'm sorry, Doug. I've got such a lot on at the moment. What's all this? Bark rubbing. For explorers next week. I'm sorry, I'm mucking up your turn a little oh, bit. Oh, no, that's all right. That's a good idea. <laughs> Shall I make a little house? There you are. On there. Should be hearing about Jasmine soon. Oh, Doug, I am sorry. There's me with my worries and never knows what you lot are going through. Sandy's in shock. Laurel and Ashley are struggling. And I'm trying to look after everybody. Well, perhaps you need looking after yourself. Well, I don't like being selfish, Brenda, but... Yeah, sometimes I do. <gasps> Off or down? <laughs> uh. Ooh, come on! Could have been hell of a lot worse. Whatever, it's all still down to me, innit? I'll tell you what, I honestly thought you were going to throw away that key. They were coming along for me! Oh, oh, thank you so much! <laughs> well, they all that. Oh. <laughs> Will she be inside for long? Oh, time spent. Matter of weeks. Oh, wonderful. So much to celebrate and oh. laugh. <laughs> Oh, Ashley, Laura, uh, sorry. I mean, Jasmine came good in the end. W with no hard feelings. Thanks, Lisa. She won't serve it all inside. It'll be two years, Max, isn't that right, Theo? Please, please, not now. Now. Yeah, thanks. Let's find somewhere for a cup of tea and then we can phone Chas, eh? Yeah, then we can get off home, eh? Crack up some cans. Yeah. <laughs> You know what? It makes such a difference having you here. Someone who understands. Oh, I'm glad, Doug. But I've got a job to get on with here. I know, and I want to be home before they get back from court. All decided now. And let's not kid ourselves, it's not going to be good news. Oh. Come on, Arthur. Poor Jasmine. Uh, hey, how about we meet up later for a drink? I know I'm going to need one. <laughs> Eli! Oh, great news, eh? I mean, it's tough on Jasmine, but devs will be out before we know it. Mm. Bet they're going wild back at the homestead. And you're just getting started, <laughs> man. Fantastic. Listen, hold on, I'll walk back up with you. No, mile or not, I just... I'd rather go home, mate. It's all my fault anyway, innit, with me big mouth. No, no, think, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? It's all in the past, that. It's time to forgive and forget. Yeah, but Debbie's not going to forgive and forget, is she? You know, Jasmine is still going to be banged up. Every time Debbie sees me, I'm going to be that... that flaming Judas that betrayed her, mate. It's better Debbie don't see me at all. It... So there I'll be, stuck between the homemade jam and the pre-worn woolly cardos, trying to promote executive shooting weekends. <laughs> Some sophisticated PR job. Well, we've all got to earn a crust. Mm. If we've gotten out, we've got to do out. Unless uh, we've got something tucked away somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jimmy. I do love being cosied up with you here. <laughs> How about I come over tomorrow night at the same time? <sighs> but I won't be here, will I? I'll be on my way oh, to... Oh, Switzerland, yeah, I forgot. Oh, those beautiful snow-capped mountains. Thought you'd never been? No, but I've heard all about it. You know, Heidi and a grumpy granddad. <laughs> it's not all like that. <sighs> not where I'm going. <sighs> but I love all of it. With cuckoo clocks, secret bank accounts. Oh, those funny hats they wear. Oh, Swiss chocolate. Mm. <laughs> Are you feeling any better? Better than I was. Four years, though. Hey, let's have another drink. Oh, no, I really should be going. No, 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 no don't go. Not yet. It's made such a difference today. I'm glad, you but... know, we should do more together. I've been thinking you're so good with the children. How about us expanding? I mean, we make a great team, Look, don't we? Doug, wait. But before you go on. Oh, I wasn't going to say this tonight, but. You can go on. You speak your mind. I'm going to have to cut back on the club. What? Not altogether. 
I mean, one night a week, yeah, but all the organisation, I've too much on. After all you've been saying, I thought we were... I thought we were a team. Yeah, we sharing were. Sharing our troubles. Doug, I feel really sorry for you, but I can't... Oh, pity. Is that it? Well, I deserve it, don't I? There's me, think of be getting close, and all the time your plans to jump ship. I need another drink. Look, you've got this all wrong. Have I? I miss you. My handsome, rugged features or my rough charm? Both. And now you're off to Switzerland without me, chasing after all those Heidis and Helgas. Hmm. Won't be any time for that. I'll be too busy. Going to dinner with rich bankers and the slinky wives. What would a rich banker want to talk to me about? Oh, I don't know. Right. Well, if you're that keen on Switzerland, you'd better come along for the ride. Really? Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm off on to pack. Oh, I, I won't need ski boots, will I? No. And I'll, I'll leave a note for Natasha, tell her where to stick a brum and buy stall. Oh, you lovely, lovely man. <laughs> What's all the excitement about? I'm off to Switzerland tomorrow with the most handsome man in the world. Excuse me. I'll tell you later. I need a breath of fresh air. There's no need for this. In the... I don't understand you, Doug. I'm off at home. No, no, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Wait. Oh, look who's here. Now we see a smile on her face. If you'll excuse me. Why, ask me. I don't matter. Go on, go. You can't wait to get away, can you? I've got business to discuss yeah, with Bob. I'm sure you have. Business you could well do without, given your instincts in that direction. Look, he's upset because... I'm he's... upset because of you. The way you have us all dancing around. Look out, Viv, that's what I say. First you shop, then your husband. Hey, whatever's going on, there's no need for that. Or oh, that Bob! Hey, Bob, hey, Bob. Bob, Bob, ignore him! It's just a drink talking. Come on, you. Uh, leave him to it. I'm sorry, Bob. And don't you look so innocent. Right, that's enough for tonight, Doug. Time you went home. Well, oh. Another quiet evening at the village pub, eh? Well, this is very kind of you. I wanted to have a little chat with you anyway. I heard what you said about me to Lee this morning. Ah. Care to revise your opinion? No. <laughs> well, you're absolutely right. And you were right to stick up for Lee, too. Honesty and loyalty are very important to me. <laughs> hey, Nathan. Listen, sweetheart, I spent a very intense afternoon in court today and I've come to a decision about the lake. I want it drained and filled in. Do you think you can handle that? Yes, no, sure, I'll make a call. Good. Come and join us. We're having a chat about the future of home farming. Actually, I've been thinking about what you were saying earlier. Spending more time on the estate. It's, it's beginning to look like a really attractive proposition. <laughs> All this stuff about you and Bob. Where's he getting it from? Brenda? Well, I did. I mean, you know, when I first started. Well, you know how charming Bob can be. But there was nothing in it. Nothing in it? Well, that explains it. Idiot! No! Oh, no, no. Well, what you're saying is that I'm second choice, No, Emma. nothing happened with Bob. He's supposed to be my best mate. Classic. Yeah, but the other way around, it's you I want more than anything. I love you, Terry. All right, Sam. How did it go? Well, well, Debbie gets out soon. And Jazz has got four years for accidentally killing a bent copy. Is that right? Well, yeah, it was a bad lot. But I'm sorry about this afternoon. Yeah. Oh, it's all right. I have dumped on you, weren't I? Yeah. But I can be very stubborn. Yeah, I mean that. What, can I buy a pint? Got one coming, thanks. You all right, Lee? I just about to ask Sam how today went. Fine. He, he's a good bloke. Yeah, I'm glad to hear it. Can I get you one? It's very considerate, he is. Yeah, well, it mean I'm a soft touch. I'll get me on. 
I don't believe this. You, me and Nicola in the truck for miles and miles on the motorway. You might have asked me. There wasn't time. In that stinking truck for days. And she said yes. You saw her. She was overjoyed. So she's either up to something incredibly devious or she... Or nothing. You were right. Swiss bankers, secret accounts. What do you mean, secret accounts? She thinks I've got money from the business stashed away in one of those black boxes in Zurich or somewhere. Of course I haven't. I thought she loved me from the ugly mug, didn't I? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, well, there's no need. What are you going to do? Wait till tomorrow. Nobody makes a fool of Jimmy King and gets away with it. Tonight at 9...